Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a junk journaling video. I actually went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to even do a voiceover for this video. Um, <laughs> or if I wanted to just keep like the sped up, um, like, sorry, I got a text and I got distracted. If I wanted to just leave the sped up like crafting noises. Um, I still have them on the video as I'm recording this and so I might kind of like kind of try to lower the volume and leave them in the background so it's not just me talking and then awkward silences. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with that. I guess you guys will know by the time you're watching. Um, but yeah, so I just have acquired a whole bunch of random stuff. I mean this is usually how it goes. This is how I jump journal. I acquire a bunch of random stuff and um, I throw it in my junk journal but at this point I had acquired so much stuff that I just really really needed to get stuff stuck down and I wasn't being too particular about making it like super aesthetically pleasing um I feel like I'm not usually super concerned about that in my junk journals anyway um because I feel like once it's all done and all together it just looks really cool and eclectic on its own like it, it does its own thing um, but yeah, so I stuck this Beats sticker. That's what they are, right? Beats? I don't know. Um, sorry if you guys can hear the dinging. My husband is, um, texting me nonstop. Uh, does anybody else have somebody who does this, like, text this way? It's the most annoying thing. <laughs> it's so irritating. My husband will send, like, ten texts that have like three to five words in them each that easily could have just been put into one text. And it's just, I would just much rather your thought be completed in like one to two texts than get 15 that have like less than a sentence each. I don't know. I don't know why he does that, but it drives me crazy. <laughs> And that's probably why, I don't know if you guys could even hear it, but I got like five different dings right now because, yeah, because that's how he texts me and it drives me crazy. <laughs> anyway, totally off topic. Um, I am just sticking stuff in here. So my game plan is in this video, this is like the first of four that I filmed this day. I think it's four, three or four. Um, my plan with this junk journal from the beginning has been to kind of work my way from the out side in so like from the very front um signature and the very back signature and do those first and then start filling the center signatures because if you ever filled a really chunky junk journal if it's super chunky and you're trying to then work on one of the edges and you have all of the bulk of the book like off to one side it makes it very difficult to work in so my my game plan was to work from the outside in so that I would never encounter that. <laughs> and uh, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm working on the second half of the first signature and I think I ended up filling up most of it in this video. I, a good portion of it. Um, and as I'm looking at it right now, my first signature, I would say, is, is pretty much complete. My last signature, so there's four signatures in this. Uh, I think my last signature is also pretty much complete. So um, the center signatures, I am kind of... The, the third signature has nothing. Well, not, almost nothing in it. It has a couple things in it but it's very, very bare. Um, the second signature still signature is probably about halfway filled, um, but my junk journal is like what probably a normal person would consider capacity. Um, if I squish the covers together, it's like a perfect rectangle. Um, if I don't squish them together, it like flares out, but it can easily be stored like smaller. If I fill these signatures, which I do plan on doing, um, this is going to be very, very bowed out. I don't know when I'm going to learn my lesson that I just need to make smaller 
signatures, but I just get too excited and I want to add all the pages and I want to add all the things. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself there. Um, so you guys saw me put down a couple of clothing tags, a little SPC bow, some um, tags from the um, Hello Kitty, like fuzzy journals. And I love them so much. They're so cute. Um, right now I have these. These are like the backing cards for fig pins. Um, and I just stick them in here because I like them and I don't want to get rid of them. But like I also don't need this many just lying around like I could use them as bookmarks but I don't have that many books going on at a time and I also kind of would rather use like a bookmark bookmark I know that doesn't make any sense but I just would rather <laughs> um so yeah I'm just kind of filling in the blank space that that left with some random squishmallow stickers I had uh and a 3d sticker that I had made a long time ago <clears throat> I am still using those like little mini junk journaling kits that I put together for myself. Uh, one of them is pretty much like used up as much as I can. Um, and then I am still working on the other one, but I think I am going to end up refreshing both of those pretty soon because they could both use a refresh. So I think that'll be a fun little video to do soon. Um, what am I doing? So these are the little like doors to the compartments of uh, a Halloween nail polish advent that I had purchased. Um, I think I did an opening like unboxing or whatever of it on my other channel, my third channel. Uh, but yeah, I love the little doors so much. I thought they were so cute. I didn't want to get rid of them. So I didn't. <laughs> I kept them and I'm putting them in my junk journal. And they're just so adorable. They just, they show like a little story of these little ghosts in this house and they're just living their lives. It's cute and I love it so much. Then on this back page, I just end up, yeah, I, I just ended up journaling straight onto the page um, about those little flaps and as it stands now I put a sticker on here like a little 3d sticker uh, but there's nothing on no, nothing else on this page but because it is like patterned with the, um, the like ledger -ness, I don't feel the need to fill it I don't feel I don't feel the need to fill it um, just because I like how it looks on its own so I'm totally fine with it um, I just do a little journaling on there. I don't know where I go from here. Do I flip-flop around? I'm not really sure what I do. Okay, so on this page, I have this little like postcard thing that came with some Odin's Eye palettes that I purchased. Um, and I also have the packaging from the actual palettes themselves that I'm going to put on the page behind it. But uh, I liked how it looked, so I wanted to put all of them because they're really cute. So these are eyeshadow palettes that complement the or like I guess continue the Christmas collection that they came out with last year uh, I bought both of those palettes because they're amazing and um, I bought both of these as soon as I saw that they existed <laughs> because uh, they're also amazing I love the quality of their palettes and then um, the color stories were just really cute really pretty and I felt like they uh, I felt it was like co completing a collection, but also I really like them. So <laughs> I feel like I'm a completionist, but also not a completionist. Like I'm definitely a maximalist. I'm dropping things. I'm definitely a maximalist, 
But, like, I have gotten a lot better about having things just for the sake of having things or purchasing things just for the sake of, like, completing a collection. I no longer feel the need to, like, complete a collection if it's something, like, if it's an item I'm not interested in. Like, it, say if there's a, a collection of just something random, whatever, that has ten items in the collection and I only like eight of them, I will now consider my collection complete at eight instead of feeling the need to have those two other items that I don't really like or care about just for the sake of feeling like I have a completed collection. I hope that makes sense, but I feel like I've gotten a lot better about that in the last few years, and I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, but I definitely <laughs> still like my things, and I'm not ashamed of that. I don't think there's anything wrong with liking things. I do think it's important to, you know, be mindful, which I feel like I have worked on, but I don't think that there's anything inherently wrong with liking things. Anyway, I wrote some journaling about those palettes, um, and I put it on top of this, like, fabric-y paper thing. It's like a specialty paper. I don't really know what it is, but it's like a plant. I was going to say plant paper. All paper is plant paper. <laughs> I don't know. Just ignore me. I put it on top of a pretty paper thing. Um, on top of this like acetate green bit, I put the stickers that came with my super note. Uh, if you don't know what a super note is, you should look it up. It's super cool. Um, it is an e-ink tablet, uh, kind of like the Kindle Scribe. I feel like more people would have heard about the Kindle Scribe. Um, in my opinion, the Kindle Scribe is great if you're mostly using it for reading and for taking notes in the Kindle app. But if you're like, you want some, if you're a more serious note taker or you're taking notes for like, uh, professional purposes, or you just want more highly customizable organizational systems, Super Note is definitely superior in that realm. Um, but you can also use it as a Kindle if you want. <laughs> You just can't take, like, you can't write out notes the way you can on a Kindle scrap, if that makes sense. But otherwise, it's incredible. Um, and I got one for my birthday last year, and I love it so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> anyway, I put down, a, like, a random book page, just as, like, decoration, and then paint chip and some journaling, and I called it that. And then on the back of that, I just taped down this uh, feather. Actually, it was part of um, a dip pen. Like, what do you call those? Why is my mind blanking? The calligraphy dip thingy majigs. Uh, the feather fell off mine because the movers broke it. So I kept the feather and then I stuck it in my journal because that's what I do. <laughs> And then I have this packaging from this like little Rubik's Cube that I purchased my son. Um, purchased for my son. That makes more sense. Um, and I just stuck that on the page. No decorations or anything. And then on the back, I have a Christmas card with a really ripped up wonky envelope. But I stuck that down and then I glued an Amazon gift card that I also got for Christmas um, and this random tag like I didn't write anything on the tag it's just there for decoration and this Amazon card is already used so I didn't care about like gluing the the back um, I just wanted to stick it there Do I do anything else? Oh yeah, okay, so I stick this like postcard thing uh, that came with some paints that my husband got me for Christmas and on the other side I just put like the little um, info page that came with this like little zombie doll thing that I got. Oh, I don't put that down yet. Put the Magic Mixies instruction book first. I uh, love children's toys. I 
I do. They give me a very big sense of nostalgia. Also, they're just really fun. Um, and I uh, also am not ashamed of that. <laughs> so I did get some mini mixies and some zombies forever for Christmas. And uh, I just put like a strip of paper down there to fill the blank space. I didn't end up doing anything else to that page. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this session. I feel like I filled a bunch of pages and I'm happy about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, I know my pages really aren't that in depth, but I feel like all together they look cool. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a great day. A toodaloo.